Here is the process I am learning for when you're trying to get testimonials from customers who that you do not have a lot of uh, face-to-face interaction with. And I've talked about this a bit on the uh, last few episodes, but I keep learning a little bit more, a little bit more, and <laughs> I'm going to relate it to my my own sales process and my own ego and how, gosh, I can want to quit and uh, how I need validation constantly as I'm learning this new this new process. Um, and so, you know, just to recap, I'm also going to say quick, uh, you know, Coach Vince, one of my coaches, tells me we need to be reminded a lot. Oftentimes we don't need to hear something new. We need to be reminded. So if you're like, man, I just heard this three episodes ago. Well, it's a great reminder for you. And it's funny. I literally was going through a training and I heard four videos, each at least a half hour long, that said effectively the same thing. And so then I went on to this call to ask questions about how to structure, it's basically how to structure a membership site and how to use, you know, what, what sort of offer are we guiding people in? How are we guiding people into the membership site? <laughs> and I literally just heard it four times on trainings of some sort or the other and as the as I was in this coaching classroom with a bunch of other people and I'm hearing the coach talk about it I'm like oh my gosh I literally needed to hear it again because I missed one of the key points or one of the key points was unclear to me anyhow there you go there's a little rant for you um You know, we've got two, I'm going to generalize two types of customers for you funnel hackers out there. You, uh, you know, course creators, coaches, you're selling your online products, whatever that may may be, product services. Um, But some of the way we sell services and things, there's almost no face-to-face or group interaction, right? So... The customer is almost never seeing you, um, seeing you talk to them in a live environment or with other people, whether one-on-one or with coaches or I'll even go so far as to say this, and I'm going to do another episode on it, I believe, but here's a nugget for you. I'm checking out this, one of the people I'm getting testimonials for, they are barely out there at all on the social media so there's no familiarity right so I see the power of social media for that purpose for building familiarity so you can follow up with next round of services or wanting to get testimonials from your customers like if you're creating content that they can engage with and it feels like they're engaging with you that's going to help <laughs> what a light bulb moment um, a, a few of you might be going uh, duh anyhow uh, then we've got the type of you know customer interaction where maybe it's more high ticket so I'm, I'm thinking of you're selling $97 courses to somebody and uh and they buy the course and you know they buy it off of a video sales letter and so all they've seen is the video sales letter and then they might see some trainings where you're recorded in the training but other than that there's no touchy feely hey I know this guy or this gal course creator okay there you go that's sort of the left side of the spectrum the right side of the spectrum is you know they're buying whatever they're buying they've bought off of 
they've had a lot of interaction with you. So maybe they've been on group calls. They've seen you in a live presentation and then they got on a phone call with you or, or, and then they were in group coaching or, you know, they're, I guess, moved up the value ladder perhaps. This could, we could relate it that way. Like, where are these people on your value ladder? Um, you know, the higher up the value ladder they're, they are, the more they've uh, had most likely one-on-one or group, group call interaction with you or been in your live events or workshops or something like that. So there's a much deeper relationship. So that's uh, easier to set up the call. I'm loving this epiphany I just had, by the way, about it's really where are they on your value ladder, right? If they're at the very bottom of your value ladder and they've just bought a PDF or got that free thing or opted in or paid for your 50 or $97 thing. And that could be also be like uh, if you're selling, um, you know, uh, uh, products or um, uh, e-com products right so you're saying t-shirts or candles or any of the things that you can sell uh, where are they on that value ladder <clears throat> and how much stuff have they purchased from you so what is their relationship with you e-com wise purchase wise right are they a long term customer that buys everything that you put out because they love you, they love your story they're engaged with your purpose with who you are so they feel like they know you Um, you could look at it that way this is great talking to you because I'm learning how to talk to (laughs) I get to practice what I'm talking about oh my gosh this is so good I'm just thinking, if four of you listen to this when it comes right out, just know that you being a listener has helped me so much with my broader um, goal and purpose and how I can serve. Oh my gosh, I've gone down the rabbit hole so far. All right, if you made it this far, here we go. For low people for people that are low on your value ladder and entered the value ladder so they've just bought one thing from you or they've just bought your course and they don't have a relationship with you yet but they have found value right they've obviously found value um, or you're trying to figure out if they found value <laughs> here's the process and actually this works too even if for even if um, they're way high up your value ladder it's just easier steps So step one is you got to introduce the idea that you're going to get a testimonial, right? And we're talking about a video testimonial where we want to get an interview so we can get, we can have the highest percentage chance of capturing the story, the soundbite, the case study, you know, the testimonial. So we want to do it live so we can control the conversation and make sure we're asking the questions we want to ask and then we're giving the customer an opportunity to answer the question multiple ways which I love doing re-asking the question going a little bit deeper you know giving them an opportunity to say the benefits they've gotten or tell their story in multiple ways from multiple angles from multiple lenses but anyhow You've got to, you've got to get them engaged enough to say, yes, I'll set the appointment. And then you've got to get them to set the appointment. And then you've got to get them to show up. Right? So we got three steps and here's what happens. Let's say a hundred people say yes. 50 people will maybe schedule the call and maybe 25 people show up. I love that and and that's just such a like the the numbers sales numbers hold true across all different all different ideas or I, I don't know how 
how you want to say that. I, I think I'm making sense, but it's just funny. Like, I thought, it's actually the interview's the easy part for me. The interview's the easy part, right? Like, that's easy. For some people, the interview's the hard part. That's the easy part. Perhaps the hard part is getting to the people, to the point of interview, which I think is so funny. So I'm really working on the systems, the emails that, so you can, for people that are low on the value ladder or there isn't such a big relationship yet. So we can try and uh, start getting testimonials from those people lower down the value ladder. There we go. Um, But I'm also at the same time working on interviewing people high up the value ladder. But that's super easy, actually. It's just like, hey, Misha, call call Betty. I'm like, hey, Betty, let's do a testimonial for Stacy. Okay, no problem, let's do it, right? Yeah, great, I'll send over the link. They click and schedule the appointment. You know, they, the Zoom call right away, or, or they, uh, yeah, it's just so interesting. All right, I'm done. Have a good day. Thank you, thank you for listening to this episode of the Table Rush Talk Show. For resources to help you sell your stuff, go to B-E-L-O-V-E dot media forward slash resources. That's B-Love dot media forward slash resources. And be sure to subscribe, comment, five star and share. Thank you again for listening.